When the goals are set for the project, there should be a system in place in order to evaluate the different alternatives. Tools such as life cycle assessment, life cycle cost analysis, and computer modeling can all provide great benefits. Take building information modeling as an example, which allows the creation of a 3D project model. With the use of building information modeling, project teams can model their project in a 3D model, define the types of materials they plan to use, set the project location, and run energy simulations for the building according to the climate of the project's location. Alternatively, the project teams can see how the sunlight interacts with the building and adjust the building orientation in order to maximize the benefits of sunlight. The location of the windows and skylights can be evaluated from the 3D model as well, which can result in providing natural sunlight to the building occupants and also a reduction in the lighting costs. With the integration of the project schedule to the 3D model, 4D construction simulations can be developed and the project teams can find more effective ways to reduce the total construction duration. The mentioned building energy simulation is a very important tool for achieving LEED certification as well. When doing evaluations about the project strategies and technologies, project teams should also refer to the triple bottom line, which is another strong aspect that all green buildings should accomplish. For the evaluation and selection of strategies and technologies, project teams should set goals, benchmark performance, identify opportunities for improvement, prioritize and align improvement opportunities with the project goals, implement the program, measure performance and use a third-party verification, and set new goals or revise goals.